Okay, let's assume that you want to create your own generic class. So the first thing you need to do is define a class. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a class called even list. And even list is going to give us, we're going to take in a list. So here we'll say that, we'll say list. And this will be a list of type T. And then well, inside of here, we're going to do something or we're going to return. So function, and then we'll say items. And then what we're going to do is we're going to return a list out of this. And it's going to be the same type T. So notice how I'm not providing anything inside of here. So what this class is going to do for us, it's a generic class. And I'm basically saying, look, this class is going to hold a bunch of things and it's going to, they're going to be of type T. It's going to hold, it's even list is going to be of type T. Don't know what it is. Uh, the constructor is going to take a list into it and it's going to be of type T. So basically if it's a list of strings, then it'll be even list of strings. And then what will happen is I want to return the even items. And so I'm just going to go ahead and return those even items. And to do that, I'm going to say return list dot filtered. No, I need to put val on here so I can get access to it. Val dot filtered index. And then what I'm going to do is pass in a lambda and that's going to give me an index and a value. And then from here, what I can do is say index modulus two equal equals zero, which means, hey, if it's divisible by two, if it's a second item inside of there, then, you know, if it's divisible by two, so two, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, then go ahead and return the item. So only return the even items in this list. So I have not actually specified that I'm working with strings or integers or anything. And here I'm using this type T. So how would I use this class? This is a generic class that only works with even items. And perhaps for whatever reason, I want this to be something I can use all over my application because I am maybe building some type of game where I only work with even ones. And you know, of course I could build another one called odd. So to do this, I could say val result equals even list not event list, even list. Now I could specify a string here. I want it to be string and I need to pass in, I'm going to pass in my list of strings. Now look, the IDE says, Hey, we can remove the explicit type arguments because it's going to be inferred because you're passing in a list of strings. And we already know that this list of strings is this type right here is a string. So we already know that you're a string over here. So you don't really need to tell us that it's a string. We can divide, we kind of already figured that out for you. So you don't need to provide that information. So then what I can do is I have my, my list of strings. So now I have an event list of strings. And if I wanted to print out the, the actual even ones, I could say result dot uh, items, which is gonna call this function here. It's gonna call the items function. And we, maybe we even wanna call this even, you know, be a little more explicit here. We'll call it even items, which makes more sense, result dot even items. And if we print this out, what we're gonna see here, uh, and we're only using the strings right now, let's see Don and Mary. Well, now the power of the of of generics really comes in that you can reuse it with different types. So let's reuse this again. Let's say val result. Let's say uh, other result because we need another variable. And this one's going to be event list. And this time we're going to take in a list of ints, not event, even list. So we're going to take a list of integers in, and we're going to print this out. I'm going to say result dot even items. And when we print this one out, we're now working with integers. And I used the wrong result. There we go. And if we use the other result, which is the proper one, we'll now see we were able to reuse this class's exact functionality. I didn't have to write it twice. I'm now relying on a type, this is called a type parameter, the type T, to do some work for us. And if we can look at this value, look, we're, if we go over here and actually we're do something with a value, actually, we can see the value over here is actually type T. So I don't know what that type is. I could say the value is of type blah. Now I could do some, I could do is the value is a string. So if I pass in an any into this, then we could do some type of stuff inside of here. Now that's going to limit me on what I can do, but depends on my implementation of my generic class, if that's what I want to do. So here now I have an even class that will work exactly with, with these and I could, you know, again, we could even go a step further and we can go class person and we could easily do name string and then we can create a list of, of people. So let's just do that val people equals list of and then we'll just do person. And 
And now, if I have these people and I want to print it out, we're just going to do this. We're going to single line this right now. So I'm just going to do even, even list. And then I'm going to pass in my people. And then I'm going to say, I want to get my even items. I'm just going to print that out. And then what we're going to see here is even with my own custom class, I'm getting that. And I, you know, I can make this a little bit nicer and just say a data class because data classes will give you a nice little two string representation of your class already. As we can see here, now the two string is represented. That two string is built for you by default in data classes. So I can print out and everything here. So now I'm only receiving the even number. So I'm receiving Don and Mary, but Bob is index number one and Felicia is index number three. So we're just going to, you know, completely skip over that. Remember, because these are zero based index. So remember that this is zero. This is one. This is two. And this is three inside of array index because we're zero based. So this is why we're getting the even index. So the other cool thing about this too is like, let's say that you don't really like the, the type T. I prefer to use the word T because it means type to me and it's a type system. I could also just say this right here. I say, I could rename this type and say type like that. And now I could use the same thing. I could even call this something else. If I wanted to call this, um, we wanted to call this, you know, um, Oh, tiger. I call it tiger. What? It doesn't matter what I call it. This is just a type parameter that I'm going to be using. And if I look over here, now this might get confusing because I would never use the word tiger because tiger has an implicit meaning of an animal. So I see that this value is of type tiger, but that doesn't make any sense. So it's usually good to keep these type parameters to be a very simple name that represents something. So it could be type. It could be you know, sometimes people use action if they're if it's building something with actions and so forth. However, it's really easy just to use simple single letter uh, types because then when you're looking inside of, you know, perhaps your code and you're looking at the value of something, you can look over and say, oh, that's going to be of type T. Oh, okay, I don't know what that is. That's a type. All right, I need to think about this more. So that's how you can build a very simple generic class and your very first generic class inside of Kotlin.